Hello all, in this video let us take a look into the new feature bidirectional filtering in analysis services. This bidirectional filtering feature has been introduced in the uh, tabular model of analysis services. In an existing version of uh, SQL Server 2012 and 2014, the filtering will work from the parent to child table. For example, if you are applying a filtering on the parent table, you would be able to filter the data on the child table. But uh, if you try to apply a filter on the child table, and if you are having a measure on the parent table, it will not have any effect on the parent table. But by setting up with this bidirectional filtering, you would be able to filter the data on both the ways. And uh, secondly, in current version, the many-to-many -many relationship has been taken care by using the uh, DAX calculations or by setting up uh, the DAX measures to take care of that uh, many-to-many -many relationship functionality. By inbuilt, it will, it will not be taken care by the uh, existing version. But uh, by setting this bidirectional filtering feature, you will be able to achieve this many-to-many -many relationship as well. Let us take a quick uh, demo into the bidirectional filtering feature. Before that, let us uh, um, have a look on uh, data, what we are going to see here. Uh, basically, we are having a model here, like which is having a customer and accounts dimension and uh, a bridge table between it to say that you know multiple uh, customers can be mapped to multiple accounts and uh, multiple accounts can be mapped to multiple customers typically a many to many relationship but uh, for this demonstration purpose i have just set up the data in a way that it's kind of a one to many only but uh, it will be able to demonstrate the many to many capabilities as well this uh, fact deposit table has the transaction basically so let us quickly take a look into the data as well um, so we are having two customers John and Peter and uh, we are having uh, basically accounts like uh, savings and uh, current account and uh, here the customer has been linked into the uh, accounts using this customer accounts table and uh, we are having fact deposit table where we are having like you know the deposits has been made into the account and uh, for the demo purpose the accounts whichever has been associated to the customer one has been always made deposit with cash and uh, the customer two uh, has been always made deposit with check so you know and uh, the deposit amount is 100 for the customer one and uh, 200 for the customer so two uh, basically this is the data right now we are having uh, and uh, let us try to check the first scenario of you know the filtering the data based on the child table in the parent table so uh, here basically if you see in the model accounts is the parent table and uh, deposit is the child table now let us say for example if you want to take a scenario of like you know uh, how many accounts that is account number count which has been done the deposit through cash so as per this uh, data basically based on the cash there are two accounts has been deposited and uh, the deposit type ca check is for the two accounts basically so this is what we are trying to achieve so you know based on the filtering on the deposit type on the child you should be able to see the account count from the parent so let us try to do that in the existing model right now the bidirectional filtering is not enabled so let us try to uh, achieve that uh, um, using this uh, pivot table and see how it behaves so let us add this account count uh, measure and um, let us try to add this uh, deposit type as the filter and um, let us try to add the account number so now when I try to filter this deposit type with uh, cash um, basically if you see there is no impact on the um, account count measure the reason being because the 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 filtering in the existing model for flows in the direction of the relationship itself now let us try to enable the bidirectional filtering and see 
how this is behaving so to enable the bidirectional filtering go to the model and uh, on the link you can right click and say edit relationship and uh, here you could see a drop down box over here from here you can select like you know uh, two bad both tables so this icon also would change and uh, this way we are setting up the bi-directional filtering now let us quickly go here and uh, refresh the data now you could see that based on the check what our account has been uh, uh, deposited using the check we are getting it here so this filtering based on the child table is impacting the parent table as well so this is the first scenario of uh, usage of bi-directional filtering and now let us take the next scenario of the many to many relationship so let me try to construct a new um, pivot table here and now per our model this customer has been related through the customer accounts and uh, it can be related to multiple accounts and the amounts are being deposited um, in the in those accounts so now if you want to know for uh, this customer how much amount has been deposited let us try doing that without enabling the bi-directional filtering so total amount deposited and i am just taking the customer um, first name so if you notice this total amount deposited is giving the same value for us over here right so to handle this in the earlier versions basically what we were doing is we were constructing this uh, measure using this uh, technique like you know using a calculate function and the filter context providing all the tables whichever is necessary for the filter context actually this tip has been given by uh, Marco Russo uh, in his website in um, sqlbi.com I guess you can uh, take a look for this technique to how to solve this uh, many to many relationship now let me try to bring in that uh, measure which is having the workaround you could see that uh, now it is giving a proper value so for each and every measure you should be doing that uh, uh, technique to uh, handle the many to many relationship but now with this bi-directional filtering let us uh, try to solve this problem so now I am enabling the bi-directional filtering over here and uh, let me enable the bi-directional filtering over here now let us try to refresh the data now you could see that by default this total deposit amount itself is giving you a proper values reason being by setting up this bi-directional filtering this many to many relationship has been taken care so that is the bi-directional filtering feature which has been made available in the CTP 3.2 version uh, presently this SQL Server 2016 is in CTP 3.2 uh, which can be downloaded from this uh, link thank you very much for watching this video I will uh, meet you all soon in my next video thank you